So my name is Adele and I help professional career men and women heal from divorce. And divorce is one of the most traumatic situations that anyone will ever deal with in their life. And we really have developed a process to help people heal ethically and congruently with their divorce. And it's a process that works within a 21 day period of time and it's yielded amazing results. It's really transformed the lives of many, many people. So my background is I've spent the last 11 years working with some of the world's largest companies as a change management specialist. And what I do is I work, um, I work in the aftermath of a merger and acquisition or a large scale software implementation where people are a bit flustered by the change or they're not, they haven't quite adapted to what's happened. So the processes and techniques that I've developed help people cope with that change and you know process what has happened, adapt to it and you know focus on the future and focus on what they're going to do next. And a lot of these processes, um, they work very successfully and they still work today in organisations that I've worked in. Well, around one and a half million people every year go through divorce. And that means that 37% or so of every you know, marriage will end in divorce. And that statistic is pretty alarming. And given that it's such an alarming statistic, you'd think there'd be a process to actually heal from divorce, and there isn't one. Um, so what I developed was a, a process that works over a 21 day period that takes people through very clear three stages of healing. So the first stage is the stage of um, the cocoon. So we uh, help the person develop a cocoon around themselves so they're protected and um, I'd say they can handle life's knocks a little bit better. So the cocoon is the first phase. The second phase is the period of metamorphosis. So that's when they move into that place where the change can occur and they can withstand the pressure of the change because of the foundation of the cocoon that was in place. And once the metamorphosis has occurred, then the last stage is called release. And release is really about um, working on your future and who you now are and what you're looking for in a relationship and um, what you're looking for in your future and your new life. Yeah, so I was married um, for seven years and, you know, my husband and I had a wonderful, wonderful marriage. You know, for all intents and purposes, we were very, very happy for um, those seven years. The thing is, there were some key things that we, events that we stepped over very early on in our relationship. So things that happened, resistances that occurred between us. We never dealt with them. And um, when you don't deal with things like that, it causes strong and large resentments um, to build up over time. And those resentments formed a big kind of chasm between us. But on the surface, we didn't deal with it. We, we had this uh, kind of distance between us where we weren't dealing with it. And what eventually happened was um, a lot of that led to him cheating. And he, um, he was unfaithful many times during uh, sort of the last three years of our marriage. And some of the people that were involved were mutual friends of ours. So by the time our relationship came to a conclusion, there was just lots of stuff to deal with, lots of conversations to be had, lots of people to talk to. And I think, I think what was amazing was he was very, very honest with me, which was a very brave and courageous thing to do because most people don't, they don't want to be that honest. They don't want to be that radically honest with anybody. And secondly, um, neither one of us blamed or were victims in that situation. I really took responsibility for what I had to do with that. And I didn't, it would have been delicious to just revel in, um, you know, the situation. I would have had loads of people running to my rescue and feeling sorry for me. But it, um, I don't think there was anything particularly enlightened from that. And my relationship with my ex-husband is amazing now. You know, he lives in the Caribbean and he, very happy in his life and you know when I think about him I have very fond memories I, I think kindly of him and I think you know I want him to be happy and you know I'm glad that we got it so complete yeah and I think for a lot of people it's a very confronting um, a confronting notion it's almost 
you know, how could you trivialize the healing process? Um, and this, to the contrary, it's not trivial at all. It's actually the, the program is, a, is, is being designed very, very carefully. It's a very intensive 21 day program. And the, the principle of it is, you know, if you have a band aid, um, you have a choice. You can slowly peel that band aid off one step at a time. And it can take many, many years. And for many people who are healing from divorce, they heal as best they can. They do what they can. Um, there isn't really a process. They might see a therapist. They, they might, you know, do what they can to heal. But it could take forever. I, I have clients who, you know, one client was 17 years. She wasn't healing from her divorce. So the process is, is as such that instead of peeling off the band-aid one step at a time, you are ripping it off, which means it is painful. But it's painful for a very short period of time and then you're done. So how it actually works um, and how it's possible is there are three key principles. You need to focus with strong intention on healing. Now for most of us who are healing, we can get a bit sidetracked. Um, you'll dip your toe in the, the, in the strong emotions and then you'll run away and, and go and do something else. And there's a lot of kind of short-term emotional avoidance tactics that, that human beings have to avoid dealing with the emotion. So the, the first principle is we, we allow um, our clients to be in that, in that space of focusing intensely on their healing. And like anything, if you focus, you get to a period of mastery and you actually become very, very clued up on how you work and become aware of yourself. The second principle is you take courageous daily steps. Now that's also key. If you take courageous weekly steps, that's fantastic. You know, then you'll, you will heal in a matter of weeks. But if you take courageous daily steps, you can heal in a matter of days. And that's why if every day you dedicate 90 minutes, that's all it takes. And 90 minutes, um, and it doesn't even need to be in one go. It can be across the day, but you need to focus. Um, and you do that work, it can happen. The third principle is um, around the clock support. So for a lot of um, kind of therapies and counseling and, and programs that are out there, it's you know once a week or you know and, and healing doesn't happen that way. It's not linear. Healing happens in an instant. It happens um, chaotically. It happens at one in the morning. It happens at you know for twenty minutes in the afternoon. So we have a a team of what we call divorce angels, and they're available. Um, you know, so if anybody needs support and they want to talk to somebody, they have that support. So I think those are the three key things that you need to actually um, cause that healing to happen within such a short period of time.